Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is why your Wi-Fi is slower than what you expected. Now, this is not going to be a, a super comprehensive because we could spend a week filming this. This particular video is going to talk about the attenuation of, of different materials on your Wi-Fi signal. And what is attenuation? Well, that is the loss of signal as it is absorbed passing through different materials. Now, if you've worked with me, you know that we can do predictive surveys. Uh, we actually can send uh, equipment out on site to measure signals. We typically will have people do a walk around using something like NetSpot to kind of figure out where we're at with signal strength and what could be happening. Not only do we deal with absorption, we deal with uh, reflac ref bleh, bleh, refraction, reflection, there's all kinds of things in the environment because your Wi-Fi signal is a it is a physical light signal. And even though we can't see it because it's in a range that our eyes can't see it, it is a physical medium. And environmental factors such as weather, even human bodies, um, when, it, when the signal passes through, there's attenuation. We absorb it, slows it down, right? So... I know sometimes that when people call in for troubleshooting, we talk about access point placement and what it's near and what it's what it's by, and people are like, "Well, I've only got you know a couple thousand square feet, but things are slow." Well, but if you mount your access point, you know, behind a TV, and there's a metal bar with the TV, you know, maybe there's something in front of the TV. All of that affects your your signal strength. Right. So that's why in a room, sometimes it's it's best to have your access point on the ceiling where it can do its thing and, and send the signal down. You're not you know, you got free free space path loss, which is a whole other uh, thing that we'll talk about. Um, not in this video, but in a, a follow up video. And I am going to actually put some of these to the test so that you can see it on the meter. But let's take a look at this list. I want to thank OEC Fiber. They don't know that I use this. Uh, but I was looking for a nice, simple um, list and what some of the uh, attenuation numbers are. And, and they've got a really nice list here on their, uh, their website. And they show both the 2.4 gigahertz attenuation and the 5 gigahertz. And these are common building materials. So if you've got... A solid wooden door that is 1.75 inches thick, the attenuation, the absorption is 6 dB on 2.4 and 10. Now remember, the lower uh, the, the frequency, the more material we're able to, or uh, the better the signal strength is passing through materials. That's why a lot of times we would use 900 megahertz to do links that 2.4 gigahertz can't even get a connection, right? So uh, let's see what else. So if you think about a steel uh, fire or exit door, right? You've got a nice steel door. It's got a crash bar on it, probably exit sign above it. Um, you're looking at 19 lost on the 2.4 and 32 on the 5 gigahertz. So and then remember, on the 5 gigahertz, if you are um, putting your, if you're using uh, wider bandwidths, that naturally is reducing your, your distance on your Wi-Fi anyway, then add in this attenuation. And now you can start to see that we've got some problems. So not only is this problematic from the access point side, but it's problematic from your client side. Because your radio inside this is, uh, and your antenna is definitely not as strong as, you know, what's in this device or this device or, you know, name a device. Now, <laughs> on your light APs, this, <laughs> this probably is uh, as strong or stronger. Some of those light APs are not, they're not good. Um Let's see, so uh, brick walls, right? So if you're trying to shoot outside, if you've got three and a half inches of brick, you've got uh, six dB 
on the 2.4 and 10 on the 5. And these are things that sometimes people don't think about, right? So if your equipment comes in, let's just say in your kitchen, right, or in your mudroom, um, or even if it comes in downstairs and you've got an access point downstairs facing up, or you've got, you know, an access point upstairs facing down, or let's just say that you, let's say, for example, you've got a Unify Dream Router or a Dream, the original Dream Machine, right? And the, the pattern that comes off of that AP is going up. Now, there is some that comes comes behind it, but you got it sitting on a counter, right? So it's got to pass through the counter. It's got to pass through the cabinets. It's got to pass through the floors, whatever else is there, carpet, padding. All of that is is has attenuation, right, that is absorbing that signal and causing you to have weaker signal, which causes... Uh, weak or uh, slower speeds, right? So, look at this. Uh, if you've got bulletproof glass in an office, 10 dB on the 2.4, 20 dB on the five. Interior hollow wall, six, uh, six inches, is nine dB on the 2.4 and four on on the five. Now we would have to test that. Double pane windows. Uh, so if you've got a one inch double pane window. Nice, energy-efficient windows, 13 dB on the 2.4, 20 dB on the 5. Uh, the other thing <clears throat> that this list doesn't have is sometimes people uh, paint their access points. Um, you've got siding. I don't see siding on this list. Let's see, is drywall on here? There's a concrete wall, 18-inch concrete wall, 18 dB, 30 dB. Uh, do, 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 do. So I don't see drywall, but I've got pieces of drywall we're going to use. I've got bricks. I've got metal. I've got siding. So I am going to do a follow-up to this before the weather gets crazy. So, you you know, the whole point of this is, it is it's nice to be able to, you know, theoretically throw things on a map, draw some walls, right? So when we use a predictive Wi-Fi software, you know, we'll ask questions like, how thick is your how thick is your floor, right? If you've got an, a, an industrial or a commercial building, sometimes those floors are 18 inches thick or, or thicker, and sometimes they're poured concrete, right? So look at this, concrete wall, that 18 inches, you've, you're at 18 dB and 30 dB. So that is, that is huge, right? So when we're, when we're designing, when we're talking, when we're troubleshooting, um, you know, you might have to have more access points. You might have to use a different kind of access point. You might have to use a different frequency. You know, 60 gigahertz is going to die with a lot of this, right? Um, 11 gigahertz, you know, a, a lot of those, those higher frequencies are going to be affected more. You know, it, it, water, uh, rain, heavy rain affects signals. Uh, 900 megahertz, we used to shoot through a partial hill with 900 megahertz, and we had a slow connection, but it connected. I can't do that with 2.4 gigahertz. I can't do that with 5 gigahertz. If you go way back on my channel, I've got a, a video that where we shoot through uh, trees like Right, I show a shot <laughs> where we're shooting through the trunks of trees um, across a, a busy road and into another building. And I think we get, I can't remember, it's like 10 or 12 megabits, something like that. But we have a, a solid connection. But you could not do that with 2.4. You couldn't do it with 5 because of all of these factors of the absorption, the you know, the attenuation. So if you're having problems with your Wi-Fi, these are things that you have to consider. You also have to, we're gonna, we'll talk about uh, reflection, refraction, and other uh, things, you know, your microwave, uh, electric motors, things like that can all interfere with your Wi-Fi. So it may not be that you've got a dud of an access point, and, and I just happened to grab this, this Alta Labs off the shelf. So this is not a, uh, anything about Alta Labs. I picked up the, the grand stream. There's a ubiquity access point laying around here. There's a TP link, right? So it's not, I'm not pointing this at one access point manufacturer, but what I'm saying is if you're having problems with your Wi-Fi, 
These are all things that you have to take into account. And you might have to move an access point. You, you might have to add more access points, lower the power, distribute that, that load. You know, we see people that will sometimes put in a single access point and try to cover 6,000 square feet. And you've got furniture, you've got other electronics, you've got the building materials, all kinds of things, right? So there is a lot of science, a lot of physics that goes into deploying your Wi-Fi correctly. So if you're having problems, these are things that we need to look at. So let me know some of the craziest things that you've seen cause problems with, with Wi-Fi when it comes to attenuation and, and absorption. Um, let me know if you're having problems now. Put all that down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Think about this. You know, um, Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you're having problems with your Wi-Fi and you just need to run it by somebody, maybe have a redesign done, you can reach out at willyhow.com. Dot com. Fill out the contact form that's on our front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Head on over to community.willyhow.com and start a conversation about this. Ask your questions. We've got a lot of great people on there, and somebody may have seen your problem, and we can discuss it in, in a public setting, and everybody can kind of put their comments in there, and maybe it'll spark something, and it'll give you some ideas about how you can fix it. So, like I said, a lot of science some art to this and uh you know with with doing the right the right homework and the right design uh sometimes most of the times you can overcome a lot of this so uh, and one of my favorite things is I've, I've seen some videos and some studies about designing wi-fi on cruise ships and things like that uh so anyway think about this if you've got questions reach out put it in the comments uh head on over to the website go over to the community and as always, I'll see you in the next video.